In some questions, we're asked to solve uh, 2 sine x plus 3 cos x equals a value. Um, and in order to do that, um, what we need to be able to do is convert uh, this into an equivalent expression. And the equivalent expression will be told to us what we need to get it into. But So in this case, for this example, we're going to write it as r sine x plus alpha, where r and alpha are values that we need to find. So the way to do this, and to do this quite easily, is think of r sine x plus alpha, and think to yourself, right, well, using the trig formula from the formula booklet for sine of a plus b, this must be r lots of, um, you've got sine x cos alpha plus sine alpha cos x, okay, uh, bracket. Now, if I expand the bracket and make sure that the alphas are at the front, then I've got r cos alpha sine x plus r sine alpha cos x. Oh, I said x, I wrote alpha. There. Now, what we have is that if this and this must be the same, then the r cos alpha in front of the sine x must be the same as the number that is in front of the sine x there. So r cos alpha must be 2. And the number in front of the cos x, this r sine alpha, must be the same as the number in front of the cos x there, the 3. So r sine alpha is 3. Okay, so it really relies on you being able to go from this equation, well, this expression, to this identity here, and being able to compare it with the original expression 2 sine x plus 3 cos x. Now, we have two equations with two unknowns, and we're going to need to use simultaneous equations in order to work out alpha and r. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you go for first. I'm going to go for alpha first. So let's call this equation 1 and equation 2. And I can find alpha by eliminating the r's by doing equation 2 divided by equation 1. Much like we would have done for, um, we did similar techniques for geometric, uh, exp uh, geometric sequences in core 2. So we've got equation 2 over equation 1. So we've also got the r sine alpha over r cos alpha is 3 over 2. Now the r's cancel, so we have, and sine alpha over cos alpha is tan alpha. So tan alpha is 3 halves. So alpha can be found in inverse tan. So I'm going to put this into degrees, because traditionally this is in degrees. Inverse tan of 3 halves is 56.3 degrees to one decimal place. Okay? Then I need to work out what R is. Now, R can be found uh, in a couple of different ways. If I rearrange equation 1, then cos alpha is 2 over R. And likewise, if I rearrange the second equation, sine alpha is 3 over r. Now, remember that cos alpha is adjacent over hypotenuse. And sine alpha is opposite over hypotenuse. So, if I draw a triangle right angle triangle where this is alpha then if that's the adjacent over the hypotenuse there's the adjacent there's the hypotenuse the opposite is 3 okay 
then r is the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared. So 4 plus 9, 13, is so the square root of 13. So you can use a triangle method there. Or you can do a similar way of substituting these into sine squared plus cos squared as 1, for example. That works as well. So what we've done is we've now got 2 sine x plus 3 cos x is r sine x plus alpha, where r is square root of 13, and alpha is 56.3 degrees to one decimal place. And that's how we can write this in an equivalent form.